Hello, welcome to the tutorial session of this week 9. So let us see the first question. So in the first question we are seeing an equation which is given as 3 log p 9 this is base p 2 log q base 27 and 2 log here base is p inverse q and this is 81 so mm, here it is also given that p a and q are two distinct positive real numbers and uh, we have to show uh, either p equal to qq or q equal to pq so let us try to solve this equation so here we can see that we can write log 9 as 3 square log 27 as 3 cube and we can write this as 3 power 4 so let us take this power uh, before this log so it will become 6 log p3 minus 6 log q is the base this is 3 and we can write 8 here and it is p inverse q and here it is 3 so we transform everything in terms of log 3 so uh, our motivation is to bring everything as the same base so we can write it as so we can take c common and we can write log uh, 3 base p as log p base 3 here we can write it as 1 by log here base 3 and here it is q and we can write this as also 1 by base is 3 and here it is p inverse q ok so let us see what we can do here so uh, one more step so here two cancels up here it is 3 and here it is 4 and one more step we can do before going ahead so this is my log this portion remains same and this portion I can write it as so this is p inverse q p inverse q means q by p so here it is given uh, distinct positive real numbers uh, so it is non zero so this is the p inverse is valid basically and here also see that uh, p and q cannot be negative also otherwise this log will be undefined negative or zero so otherwise this log will be undefined so we are taking two distinct positive real numbers so s p and q so here it is 1 by log 3 q minus log 3 p yeah so we have written every term as in terms of log 3 p or log 3 q so let us assume log p base 3 as m and log q base 3 as n so what we get if we substitute these things we will get this is 1 by m 1 by n for 1 by n minus m ok so let us see what this gives so this will give n minus m by m n for 1 by n minus m so if we take uh, n minus m in this side we will get n minus m whole square equal to 4 m n so we'll uh, if we simplify this thing we will get 3 let us break it down n square plus m square minus 2 m n here it is 4 m n so if we take everything in the same side we will get 3 n square minus 3 into 2 6 and here it is minus 4 m n so 10 m n plus 3 n square so from here we can write it as m minus 3n into 3m minus n equal to 0 so if you factorize this thing you will get this term because 3 into 3 is 9 and uh, we can write this minus 10 as 
minus 9 minus 1 so you can uh, simplify this thing so basically we get m equal to 3n or 3m equals to n so what our m and n are so let us substitute here so log p base 3 is equal to 3n so 3 log 3 base q so it is giving us both side we have log 3 base and it is qq so log is an one one function so we get p equal to qq and again if we substitute in the other term uh, which is 3m equal to n we will get uh, q equal to pq so this proves that uh, for the given equation what we have uh, started with we get either p equal to qq or q equal to pq